All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about five things that make filming way easier to be in the moments. And for some reason, these things are never talked about on YouTube. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoy. First off, before we get into it, I just want to preface this by saying this video is not about making high quality videos for like commercials or for uh, just anything where you want a high production value. What this video is meant for is for people that want to be able to film what they're doing but still be able to enjoy themselves in the moment. Um, so these are five tips of things you can do to want to enjoy your, your filming while you're out there, get good quality uh, clips, but at the same time feel like you're not separating yourself from, in my opinion, what matters most, to be able to enjoy who you're around, whether that's family, friends, and uh, but still be able to create those memories through, through film. So the first thing I want to talk about is your film settings. So if you're like me, I tend to film most of our family videos or vlogs on a, on a mirrorless camera. So I, I use the Panasonic GH5 and through my years of searching on the internet, uh, what is very common people tell you is that, oh, you need to get the, the lowest f-stop, you need to have the greatest bokeh, the greatest blurred background so it looks more cinematic in your films. But what I found is when I'm out there filming and I have a variable ND filter on there and I've got my f-stop as low as it can go and I'm trying to make sure that everything is exposed properly. I'm turning the variable ND filter and trying to get that perfect cinematic look. Um, it, takes a lot of, it takes a lot away from the, from the environment. So something I've been doing for the past um, probably half a year now is I just take off that variable ND filter and I take my camera off of manual and I go over to the, the S setting or the shutter speed priority setting on your camera and I set it to double whatever the frame rate I'm doing. And as a lot of you already know, to get proper shutter speed settings when you're doing video, you typically double your frames per second. So if I'm at 24 frames per second, then I'll make my shutter speed at 50. And if I'm at 60 frames per second, I'll make my shutter speed 120. But what this does for me is when I'm in shutter speed priority, I know it's gonna be stay constantly double my frames per second. But at the same time, I know it's gonna adjust my aperture, my ISO automatically. And in that way, I don't have to worry about those settings when I'm filming. I'm able to film with my family and my kids and enjoy the moments, get some cool shots. And it doesn't matter that it's not the, the greatest depth of field or bokeh in the background. Uh, it's all about that story and just creating those memories and everything. So the second thing I like to do when, when filming with my family is um, be able to be hands-free when needed. So a lot of time I'm carrying my GH5 around and I usually don't use the camera strap because I feel like it just gets in the way when I'm filming and everything. But at the same time I want to be able to easily put my camera away if needed, if I want to go play with uh, my kids or help my wife with something. So uh, ever since the beginning I've been using the, it'd be good if I knew what the ca camera bag was called. One second. Uh, here it is. So I've been using the Low Pro, I believe it's a tactical, tactical pro backpack. This is the 350 liter size. There is a bigger size, the 450. I actually did order both when I got my camera initially. Uh, the 450 is great, it's really big. Uh, it's a little bigger than this one. But I like the 350 size. I'm able to fit all my camera gear in there. But the reason why I love this camera bag is because there are pretty much pockets to put your camera in every single way you go. So you can put your camera in this way if you want. Oh, and look, there's another one right here. 
Put my camera in right here if I want. Okay, wow. You can go from the top. Okay, cool. Or I can even open up the whole entire back. And I can put all my camera gear in there. So what I like is I'll have this on my, my backpack. <clears throat> and I can be taking pictures, doing video, whatever it is. And then, if needed to be, I can just swing my camera bag in front of me. Open that pouch, unzip it, put it in there, zip it back up and put it back on and it's it's great. So uh, I love this backpack. If I was gonna buy a new backpack, the number one thing I would look for is to make sure it has the side pockets down below. That way I can swing my backpack forward, unzip it, put it in, and it's all done. So that is my favorite feature about this backpack. And I wouldn't personally buy another camera backpack unless it had that feature. It is so convenient. The second thing that I love, or the, the second thing that I've started using recently is the, let's see if it's on my camera bag. As you can tell, I'm totally prepared to do this video. So actually I was coming up from work today and I was like, I wanna make a YouTube video. Didn't prepare what I was gonna do, just wrote down a couple of notes. I'm like, this would be a good video to do. As you can tell, just kinda of going with it. But I just think it's so fun to make videos, so that's why I'm doing this. But the other thing I'd recommend to be able to become hands-free um, as quick as possible is the Peak Design camera uh, clip. So I'll also link this down below in the description. But this thing is seriously awesome. So what it is, you're, you're taking pictures, got your camera bag on. Heck, let me just throw this on one second. <laughs> All right, throw this on. So you're taking pictures, take your camera, and you just slip it on, and then your hand's free. This thing is freaking amazing, let me tell you that, because it saves me the motion of having to do this with the camera bag, and doing, boom, and put it away, which still is freaking awesome, because you know it's protected in here, especially if you're doing something that uh, you know you're want to put the camera away, but be able to take pictures or do video and go clip it on right there. Just amazing. Another key point about why I love this is because if I have my, my Rode microphone on top of my camera, obviously I can't put it in my backpack that quick. But with this camera clip, I can just go, man, that's a good sound. I can just clip it on right there. That microphone does not get in the way. And then, hey, I'm able to help out the family, play with the kids, do whatever I want. Super easy, super awesome. I would highly recommend the Peak Design camera clip. It is a lifesaver and such a simple thing, but I think it goes very underrated, especially in the YouTube community. So this thing is awesome. So the third thing is sometimes it's okay not to use my DSLR. Sometimes it's just nice to have a small camera. And that typically for me, that's either a GoPro or it's my iPhone. Uh, let me tell you, it is way more convenient to pull one of those things out of my pocket um, than it is to pull out my GH5 with a big old lens on it and a microphone on it. Heck, talking about lightweights, a lot of time I don't use my microphone just because it's a big and bulky kind of thing. But using the GH, yeah, but using the GoPro or my iPhone. Sometimes you get the perfect shot, especially with the new iPhones, the iPhone 11 Pro, you get three different cameras on there. You get your super wide, you get your kind of standard, still kind of wide, and then you get your your uh, zoom, which is like a 50 millimeter around there, I believe. So you get a good, good range, good quality on these new phones, and it's just a lot easier. You're able to whip that out, get a quick little picture or video, and put it back away. And hey, you're back in the moment again. So that is number three. It's okay using a smaller camera. Yeah, you don't need a big camera to look all cool when you're out there. Just pull your small camera, perfecto. Number four is holding the camera to your chest. So uh, this is great for using an iPhone, a GoPro, but even your, your uh, DSLR or mirrorless camera, you can just hold the camera right here against your chest. And what that does is 
Now it's not in your eye view when you're interacting, but you're able to hold it right here, um, play or interact with the kids, it'll do something, and you just hold it right here. Um, and then the cool part of that too is, so I have two young kids, one is one and a half, the other one is three years old, and I don't want them to get conditioned saying, oh, well, dad's always holding a camera when we're acting and doing stuff. No, I don't want them to think that I'm on a camera all the time. I just hold my phone right here and say, okay, hey, Quay, let's go play, do this, interact. Oh, that's, that's cool with spaghetti over there. Or I don't know what the heck you're going to say, but whatever the case may be, uh, the camera is a lot less intrusive in the situation as holding it right here at your, at your chest. Last one is, which goes great with holding the chest, number five is pretty obvious, use a wide angle lens. And the reason for that is, is because of a wide angle, wide angle lens, you're able to get more in the picture. Uh, if you're not looking at the camera all the time, then the wide angle lens will for sure pick up the moment better and you won't miss anything. So if you're playing with your kids, you're out with friends, you're uh, even at, I don't know, getting dinner, you get more of the shot, people can see what's going on, it just invites everybody who's watching into the environment so yeah this was a, a quick little video I wanted to make uh, five simple tips that aren't usually talked about on YouTube that can allow you to be more in the moment still film and again it's all about the story so the more you get in the story the more memories you're able to create the more meaningful your videos are. So I'm a firm believer in creating memories through video and photo. So if you found this video useful, please give a like. And if you like to see more of these videos, subscribe. And hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much and bye-bye. Woo! All right, that was good. 25 minutes. All right. I think we did good. Woo. Okay. Bye-bye.